This is so crazy. I'm so glad you speak Thai because we always get these crazy experiences. <laughs> We're Flora and Note, a husband and wife team that love adventure travel. We enjoy discovering unseen places and unique activities that bring us closer to nature and to the communities we visit. So subscribe and come along as we discover more unseen parts of Thailand. Suratani and we are going to take you on a food adventure and in between eating we will also show you some local interesting sites in the city. Let's go! They have everything that you like here. Yeah, what they do have, they have? They have mango sticky rice, they have braised pork noodle soup and they have all kind of Thai desserts and chicken satay. Oh. Let's grab a table there, yeah? Okay. So this place is called Yokkeng, which means lifting the basket. Not quite sure if it has like a story behind it, but probably just means they work really hard. And been working hard for many years. Or it's really good they have to empty all the baskets they put all the ingredients in. Oh, they sell out so quick that they keep having to uh, clean the basket. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it seems like a family operation. Like there's many generations here. Like grandma, the daughter, the father, the grandchildren, everyone working here in this operation. Which is really, really cool. Like we love mom and pop shops like this. And they seem to be really busy and people constantly coming for not just like their main meal, but also for dessert and for drinks. Wow, it's still hot. Deep in um, peanut sauce. One bite. And then you get the pickle. Pickle or uh, cucumber. All in one bite. Mm. Wow, it's really juicy, isn't it? Usually it can be really dry because they put it on the grill for a while, like a long time, but mm. This is long tong. Oh, it's and a clear broth. Thin vermicelli noodles. With braised pork ribs. Barbecue pork, fish tofu, or just tofu? No, this is tofu. This is fish tofu. Fish cake. Yeah, with the um, thin vermicelli noodles. And you are having kway chap. Which is the herbal, like Chinese herbal broth mm -hmm. with the roll noodles. I opt in for intestines. Intestine, and what else do you have in there? Egg. Pork belly and boil it. Wow. It's really good too. Oh! I have to say, it's not what I expected. Because with southern food, usually it's very spicy and bold and flavorful. This one being like a signature food here, I thought it would be like a stronger flavor. But it's a really mild um, vermicelli broth. I think it's uh, Chinese inspired too. Mm, maybe that's why. It's really good for me today actually because this way I can eat a lot more other foods. Really good? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Calgary, 
wanted to start making Thai food at home just you know because we miss Thailand and one thing that we made a lot was mango sticky rice and it was to a point where one day note said it tastes so good I think we can sell it so I found this farmers market and then we started selling mango sticky rice for eight weeks or nine weeks every Saturday we sell mango sticky rice Thai tea and one of the Thai desserts, the crispy pancake called Kanam Bo. for coffee right by the river here at this place called The Common. Which is interesting, it's not just a coffee shop, it seems to be an activity, an art space as well. We also see like surfboards, what are those called? Surf skate, no, mm -hmm. surf skates um, and a little surf skate park. Also paddle boards and I believe you could paddle on the Tapi River around the evening when it's not as hot. So it just seems like a new space that some young people in Suratani city put together. There are also some fun things to do at this place too. Okay, what, what did you find? A unicycle! <laughs> what I are you thought, doing? I never thought it would be this difficult. <laughs> you got it. You got it. You got it. <laughs> I think we should put this away. Before we get hurt. Yeah. <laughs> so a little change of plans. Note just got chatting with the Navy SEALs and Navy officers over here having coffee and they've invited us to go on the boat because they're on a mission today to check out the local areas on the Tapi River because they're on a special assignment to help protect the natural resources in this area. Let's go see what they're gonna see. <laughs> Are you excited? <laughs> this is so crazy. I'm so glad you speak Thai because we always get these crazy experiences. Let's go protect the water <laughs> of Thailand. <laughs> so what we're doing here is just going down the river and they're just talking to the local fishermen, seeing if there's any problems happening on the river. They're like the river police here. So we're just observing the surroundings and then tomorrow they're actually on a mission to try to protect the natural resources here. This is a super cool experience. Like, we didn't think that we would end up here this morning. They're so friendly and they're just super cool people. Okay, okay, we have some insider information. So apparently the conflict in this area is about clam farming. Believe it or not, it's actually a multi-million dollar business here in this area. Many local fishermen's livelihoods depend on the resources in the Tapi River. The Navy SEALs got wind that some powerful people are trying to privatize parts of the river and they're here to restore peace 
and reclaim public water. That's all we can say. In the south of Thailand, you started to see a lot of mangrove forests like this. They said that it's very important to preserve this area because not only that they protect the animals, because animals go to uh, mangrove forest to lay eggs because it's a safe spot with the roots and everything, you know? He used his word, he said that mangrove forest is like a kindergarten of all water creatures. Oh, so that's they, so cool! Yeah, that's where they grow up, you know, before they go back into the ocean. So we need to preserve the mangrove forest. But also the benefit of it is that the roots are so connected to the, the soil. It helps prevent like tsunami or when the high tide, you know, protect the land. I've been searching under rocks and stones. We are now back in the city and we make a quick stop at the City Pillar Shrine where locals come to wish for good luck for themselves and their families. The shrine is small but it is a sacred and important symbol of Suratani and overall a beautiful place to visit right in the heart of the city. We then cross the bridge and over to a popular spot where local people like to gather in the evening. Is that where we going? Wow. Oh wow, look how busy the place is. We are now on Gat Lampu, which is probably the smallest island in Suratani. But it's not really an island, it's more like a public park where people come to exercise. And people are just walking around the walking path, working out at the uh, using the exercise equipment. There's also basketball courts and just lots of facilities where people can work out and stay healthy. Because we're situated right on Dapi River, you get a really nice breeze. So I can see why lots of people like to come here to exercise. We we quite like it over here. Can't believe it's only a ferry ride away from Gatsumui, but it feels completely different. It's a very charming city. And I think that lots of people skip out on coming to Suratani and they just go straight to the islands Gatsumui, Gatpangan, Gatao. Maybe next time you can stop here for a couple of days just to explore the city, try all the amazing food before you head off to the islands. What do you think of this park? I love it. If I lived here, I would come here almost every day. Yeah, it's so fun. You can do everything here. Bring my skateboard, come play soccer. People of Surat are so active. Totally. This is called Takra. It's one of the Thai national sport, actually. Other than Thai boxing. It's like volleyball, but you use your feet. That's so cool. And sometimes they do backflip. Those guys have shoes. These guys are better, so one of them play bare feet. The other one just have one shoe on. Wow! Look at the reflection too. Let's drive on it! If you're in Suratani, you must visit the Sanjiao Night Market, which is on every night. We walked around, grabbed some snacks, and near the end of the market, this place caught Note's eye. Hey, you want to sit down and eat? Yeah. This place looks nice. <sighs> okay. Hey. So technically, this is not in the night market. It's at the end of the night market, but it looks so good that we just had to try it. Everything looks so fresh. And there's actually tons of people here too. The interesting thing is there is no menu around. Like we even asked for a menu, but they said, oh, you just see what you like and then it's, you know, just order from us directly. And that's what we did. So we ordered a soup, a steamed fish, and what was the last one? Oh, like a minced pork steamed with salted duck egg. 
Which one are you gonna try first? I'm gonna try the steamed yeah. pork with the salted egg. This one is way better than what I had at your mom's. I don't believe you. My mom makes the best food. <laughs> you usually don't like bitter melon, right? And but soup is okay. I think if you like boil it long enough, they're not bitter anymore. It's not that bitter. It's just perfect. And they fall off the bone pork ribs. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is a good find. <laughs> if we're gonna do more food blocking, we should come up with like a catchy sound. You know like Mark Mark Green? He goes like Mm. Wow. Oh wow. We should come up with something different. I got it. Damn! No? <laughs> Does that work? Is that convincing? You try it. Wow! Oh, that's good too! <laughs> that's really good! That's what we're gonna that. do now? Yeah. From now on, we're gonna be like... Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Not far from the night market is a dessert shop right by the river. We were surprised by the huge lineup, so of course we lined up too. It's so busy, you have to get the cue card. Wait, 72? Will we want to have to wait a long time? I don't know. So, what's the name of this place? Paya Khanom Wan. Okay, why don't we get one mix? Okay. Uh, of everything in okay. coconut syrup. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna get... Uh, the sticky rice. Sticky rice, the triangle. <laughs> wow. Hi, <laughs> huh? Oh. Mm. She's so friendly. This is our final stop of the day. <laughs> we can't finish our day without dessert. Even and though this is the second dessert of our day. Mm -hmm. And I ordered la chang with green noodles made of uh, jelly, pandan jelly and sticky rice. You see the sticky rice? Mm -hmm. And what I ordered is from meat. So I think you have a jackfruit, um, And this corn, jackfruit and corn, and I see like potato and taro and green noodles. Wow! And jelly. I think um, this thing is uh, the sh a shadow of the microphone is on. still see me? Holy crap. I don't know what happened but there was just this huge explosion and then the lights just are off. <laughs> Alright, this is good. <laughs> the electrical box exploded. <gasps> that was crazy. Literally like the explosion fell so close I I poured so much of this just on my leg just now. <laughs> that was so crazy. Anyways, we're gonna finish our delicious dessert here in the dark. Thank you so much for joining us on this adventure today. We hope you had fun and we'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Yeah, and have a wonderful day, guys. <laughs> Bloopers. This is the secret to your my good physique. Yeah. I do this about two hours a day. <laughs> and eat a lot of chicken and broccoli. And then you get this. <laughs> <laughs> Will we have a boat chase? <laughs> but let's not have a boat chase today. I don't know what's happening around me, but this is delicious. <laughs>